Hi human beings, The Wanderer here for a new tutorial and this time I made it because of you. After posting this kind of stuff on my Instagram, a lot of people asked me for a tutorial. So here it is. Actually, this technique is surprisingly simple. All we need is one layer, one text animation and almost one effect. First, in your composition, create your text layer with your text. We are going to use the text animator of After Effects. For this, simply open up your text layer and on the right of the text section, you can see which property we want to animate. Click on Position, Fill Color RGB and Blur. For those who don't know how the text animator works, it's simple. You just change the value of your text property. Let's change the Y position to 300 and with controllers under the Range Selector section, you can animate the change between this value and its default one. Here, a Y position at zero and the white color. You can see it animates the text character by character, left to right, but there are settings to change that. Let's make our text animation. Let's the Y position to 300. For the color, let's pick a greenish color, not too bright. And change the blur on the X axis only to 2000. It's an important step of the process. Under Advanced, in the Range Selector section, we're going to change the shape property. Square will animate your text characters one after the other. We want a smoother animation, so let's change it to Ramp Up. Set the two is parameters to 100% and turn Randomize Order on. Now, if you keyframe the offset controller to minus 100 to 100, you get this animation. It doesn't look like much yet, but we made the hardest part of the tutorial. Let's add a wiggle expression on the offset controller for a twitchy look. Alt click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle 30 30. Yeah, it is glitchier. And now the effect you all waited for, the effect which is going to change everything, level. Yep, just a basic level effect, but with decisive settings. To see the glitch look, place your playhead in the middle of your text animation. On the level effect, go to alpha and change the two alpha inputs to 0.5. Then go to RGB and change the gamma to get some contrast. You can change the gamma of the other color channels too. I will change red and blue to get a more bluish look. Let's see the result. I can't get enough of this. I'm in love with it. Look at those artifacts. And all with just a blurry text and a level effect. Magic. If you come at the beginning of your animation, you can see the glitches are already visible. This is because our text opacity is not fading in. Well, you could leave it this way, but sometimes it's just too much. To fix it, we're going to add another property in the text animator, Opacity. Notice that we create a new animator just for this property. Set it to 0% and in the advanced section in range selector, change the shape to ramp up and the is high to minus 100 and is low to 100. It's a bit difficult to explain why the settings, it just looks better. Finally, we want the opacity duration to match the previous animation. So we are going to link the offset property of the opacity to the previous offset property. Alt click the stopwatch, select the trailer icon and drag it on the previous offset property. It's better. And here are some final tips. If you're not satisfied with the way it looks, you can change a few things. Change the random seed in the advanced section to get a different animation. Change the position. Change the fill color or the blur amount. Or change the gamma levels in your level effect. If you want to add more texture to your glitch, you can add a noise HLS auto effect or a turbulence noise set to block with its blending mode on color dodge. This is it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. I think I will make a preset for this glitchy look soon for the laziest one, including me. So stay tuned. And again, thanks for the request. I really enjoyed it. Have a great day.